Hi, hello everybody. I hope you're having a good day. Uh, let's review a little bit. Acts 12, uh, King Herod, the resting, resting Christians, persecuting them, and James was put to death. And the plea, the Jews were pleased about this, so uh, he, uh, Herod had Peter arrested. And there were four by four soldiers, 16 soldiers uh, with him. And the people were praying, the church members were praying for Peter. Prayer is important. God be with us today. Um, so Peter was sleeping, I believe, and an angel came and woke him up. And they went past the sentry, 16, I guess, and they went on they went out and went down the street yay a miracle let me turn the page i'm sorry i'm like the worst youtuber uh so i skipped a page it was about how uh rhoda and uh, peter went and knocked on the door of the church members and Rhoda came out and they didn't believe her at first but then they saw that Peter was free and then Peter left Acts 12 18 now when day came there was no dis little disturbance among the soldiers over who what had become of Peter and after Herod searched for him and couldn't find him he examined the sentries and ordered them to be put to death Peter Peter, where is he? The sentries examined and questioned and put to death. So I don't know if that was 16 sentries. Later on, I believe it's Peter gets arrested and the soldier becomes a Christian. They aren't put to death. The soldiers aren't put to death later on. Then he went from Judea to Caesarea and spent some time there. Now Herod was hanged. So they went from... I think Herod went from Judea to Caesarea. Yeah, I'm not sure if the Peter or not, but then he spent some time from Judea to Caesarea and, and spent some time there. Herod. Now Herod was hang angry with the people of Tyre and Sidon. Herod mad at the Tyre and Sidon people. And they came to him with one accord, having persuaded Blastus, the king's chamberlain, they asked for peace because their country relied on the king's country for food. Our country needs the king, king's country for food. Chicken, watermelon. Uh, people of one accord came. Please blast us. We need peace. He said, blast us, the king's servant, king's chamberlain. Okay, you can see the king. On an appointed day, Herod put on his robes took his seat upon the throne and delivered an oration to them put on his robes took his seat on the throne delivered an oration a speech to them acts 12 22 and the people were shouting the voice of god and not a man immediately an angel of the lord struck him down because he did not give god the glory so and the people said, The voice of God and not a man. And he was eaten by worms and breathed his last. Herod eaten by worms. And had his last breath. But the word of God increased and multiplied. The word of God increased and multiplied. And Barnabas and Saul returned from Jerusalem when they had completed their service, bringing with them John, whose other name was Mark. The work in Jerusalem was complete. John, whose other name was Mark, Barnabas, and Saul, all returned from Jerusalem. So, let's read one more page. Acts 13, 2. Now separate to me Barnabas and Saul for the work to which I have called them. For the work to which I have called them, says the Holy Spirit. And having fasted and prayed, they laid hands on them and sent them away. The two of them sent on their way by the Holy Spirit, went down to Seleucia, Seleucia and sailed from there to Cyprus. So they went from Seleucia to Cyprus, Barnabas, Paul, and Paul. 
and one more, and John, their assistant. So they went to Salam Salamis or Salamis. <clears throat> when they had arrived at Sal Salamis, sorry, I'm not sure I'm pronouncing that. They preached the word of God in the synagogues of the Jews. They had John as their assistant. Synagogue of the Jews, they preached the word of God, Saul, Barnabas, and John, their assistant. So tomorrow we will talk about the pro council and a sorcerer, just like Harry Potter and what happens to him. Okay, have a good day. Thanks for reading with me.